My father was a very well-known person in India and had great impact on the nation. He was a great inspiration for me. I wanted to be an electrical engineer. So I went to my father and he recommended that I do mechanical engineering. So that was a great disappointment for me, but uh, you have to listen to your parents. When you enter the IITs, you have to also go through a personal interview with the faculty. They said to me, uh, since your father is so well known in electrical engineering, I'm sure you would want to be an electrical engineer. So that's what we're going to give you. And I told my father, I'm sorry, uh, father, I could not get mechanical engineering. I've been given electrical engineering. So it's one of those circumstances in my life where there is a hand, an invisible hand that's pointing me in this direction. So I had the dream that if I came to the United States and was successful in graduate school and then we, I may be able to create something that would be beneficial to humanity. So my father was a very big inspiration, but I wanted to get out of his shadow and make my own mark in the world. One of the vice presidents of a new division at GE came to the GE labs and challenged us to create a technology that would be better than all the existing technology that they were using at that time. So within a month of his uh, request, I put together the uh, patent disclosure on creating the IGBT. So the IGBT is used in power electronics to improve efficiency in general adds up to over 100 trillion pounds of carbon dioxide over the last 25 years. That is as much carbon dioxide as human activity generates in two years. I've spoken about how an invisible hand uh, guided me in the directions that I've gone throughout my career. Uh, but as a professor at the university, it is very gratifying that I can also serve as that invisible hand that helps a lot of young people direct their careers. They suggested we say that I'm the person who has the smallest carbon footprint in the world, but I believe that it's more accurate to say that I have the largest negative carbon footprint in the world.